This FizzCast will look at converting between different sets of units, and as an example we will use the units of speed. A car travelling along at 100 km per hour is something we're quite familiar with, but we will typically be doing calculations where speed is measured in metres per second. What is 100 km per hour in units of metres per second? Well, we'll need to understand what one kilometre is in terms of metres. One kilometre is 1,000 metres. We will also need to know the relationship between hours and seconds. One hour is 60 minutes, which is of course 60 lots of 60 seconds, or 3,000 600 seconds. How does this help us convert from kilometres per hour to metres per second? We can write our quantity down 100 kilometres per hour and we can use the symbols for the units essentially as algebraic symbols and we want to cancel out the ones we have kilometres and hours and be left with the units we're looking for in this case meters per second. So I can multiply this kilometers per hour by 1000 meters divided by 1 kilometer. The reason I do that is because this thing here is of course simply equal to 1. 1000 meters divided by 1 kilometer that's the same quantity top and bottom that equals 1. And I choose to do it this way over because the kilometers here in the bottom line will cancel with the kilometers up here in the top line, as we'll see in a second. Now I can also multiply this by one hour divided by 3600 seconds. And again this thing here equals one because one hour is the same as 3600 seconds. So now I can go through and I can say, well, this unit of kilometres on the top line cancels with this unit of kilometres on the bottom line. This unit of hours on the bottom line cancels with this unit of hours in the top line. And the units that I'm left with are metres on the top and seconds on the bottom. That is metres per second. So the calculation that I actually do is 100, which was how many kilometres per hour I had, times 1,000 divided by 1, and of course you might ignore that 1 on the bottom line, but we'll leave it there for the moment, times 1 divided by 3,600. And if I do that calculation, the number I end up with is 27.8, if I round up to one decimal place. And that will be in units now of metres per second. So my 100 kilometres per hour is the same as almost 28 meters per second. That's actually a handy relationship to remember that 100 kilometers per hour is a bit less than 30 meters per second. Here's a similar problem. Someone who's very good at running might be able to cover 100 meters in 11 seconds. What's their average speed in kilometers per hour? That might be useful if you want to think about how fast that person runs, say compared to how fast an automobile might travel. Well, we can do the same kind of conversion. We can write down that the average speed in this case, which will be equal to the distance covered, 100 metres, divided by the time taken, 11 seconds. And now we want to end up with units of kilometres per hour. So we might multiply that by one kilometer divided by 1,000 meters. Again, this equals one. We've just multiplied by one, so we haven't changed our answer. And we'll see in a minute the meters on the bottom will cancel with the meters on the top. And now we might also multiply by, for example, 3,600 seconds divided by one hour. And once again, you can see now the meters here will cancel with the meters here, top and bottom. The seconds here will cancel with the seconds there, 
top and bottom and the units we're left with are kilometers per hour so our calculation will become 100 divided by 11 and these units of 1 here I'll just combine into 3600 divided by 1000 and this will be in units of kilometers per hour and if I actually do the calculation that turns out rounding up to two significant figures here 33 kilometers per hour now you may be uh, tempted to memorize these conversion factors for example between kilometers per hour and meters per second but there'll be others that you'll need to use perhaps converting from miles to meters or from years to seconds and in that case you're unlikely to memorize it but if you follow this scheme of multiplying by a conversion factor to give you the units that you want and cancelling out the units that you're trying to get rid of you'll always be able to successfully convert from one set of units to another